Hello, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my wrap up for the Horror in 24 Rita Bon, which was hosted by Crystal Visions, Carol Marie Reads, Bruce and Bynes, and Marcy Reads. I didn't complete all of the prompts, but let's talk about the ones that I did. The first prompt I completed was red on the cover. For that I read The Worst is Yet to Come by S.P. Miskowski. You can see it's in red on the cover for sure. This was a really great book. It is a coming of age novel with female characters written by a female author so if you're looking for that kind of thing this is a good one to try and it is super spooky it takes place in a very small town in Washington and there is one girl that has a very close-knit family but has trouble making friends and she finally meets a really good friend who just moved to town that happens to be from the wrong side of town um, who has a very hard life and there's a lot about their friendship and how they relate to each other since their lives are so different and there's also some supernatural things going on in this town this was a great story and I gave it five stars. I absolutely loved all of my books for 4 and 24 readathon, so this is a very exciting video to make. I also completed the Haunted House ghost story prompt. For that I read The Haunting of Henderson Close by Catherine Cavendish. This was the perfect book for this prompt. This was a really interesting story taking place in Henderson Close, which was the worst slums in Edinburgh in Scotland. And there's two different timelines in this book. The original timeline is in 1881, following a woman who is always coming to these this not-so-great part of town to try to help the families there and do her best to help the poor and then there's another timeline in the present day where uh, people go on ghost tours in this area and they talk about the history of that area in the 1800s this one was really spooky. There was a lot of paranormal activity in that area all throughout the book. It was very, very fun. And I gave it five stars as well. For supernatural creatures, I read Grey Matter, Nicholas Grey's Grey Matter. It's a collection of eight short stories. And there were several creatures in this book, so it definitely fits the prompt. I loved all the stories. I found something that I connected personally with in every one of the stories. My favorites happened to be the longest stories in the book, which were Morbidio and No Smoking. I had a lot of fun reading these short stories and I gave it four stars. For psychological horror, I read The Possession of Natalie Glasgow by Haley Piper. And this was definitely a different take on a possession story. It starts off pretty typically with a young, with a mom who has invited a woman to help her into her house because her daughter is acting very strange at night 
and they are investigating whether this might be a possession or something else so that they can try to get help from the church and it's a very short book and it was full of action and strange occurrences so I would definitely recommend this book as well. I gave it five stars. For any horror that's been on your TBR, TBR a long time, I also counted The Worst is Yet to Come by S.P. Miskowski for that prompt as well. And then, finally, I read the group book, which was Survivor Song by Paul Tremblay. And... This is a bit of a pandemic outbreak type story about a strain of rabies that takes days to spread instead of weeks. And we're following a pregnant woman who is trying to get help for herself and her baby and her best friend who is a doctor who's trying to help them. It's kind of a focused story. You see this all from their perspective. So we're seeing uh, the entire outbreak from a very small view and seeing the kinds of things that are going on because of this illness. I thought that the story was well paced and had some really funny and relevant parts. So some of the way people were acting in the pandemic were pretty comical and I could see people really acting that way in present circumstances. Also, there were some parts that really hit the nail on the head as far as what has been going on in our world today that I really loved. I felt a lot of dread, like I did not want anything to happen to these characters and the tension was high the whole time for me. I've been hearing a lot of mixed things about this book, but for me, this was definitely a hit. I absolutely loved it, and I gave it five stars. Those are all the books that I read for Horror in 24 Readathon. If you've read any of these books, I'd like to hear what you thought of them. Do you want to read any of these books? If you like this video, you can hit like and subscribe, and I will be back very soon with another book-related video. Thanks. Bye.